Hey guys, welcome back to the hobby farm. We're out here in the garage where we got our uh, meat birds and we've already moved our turkeys into the garage or into the barn. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. They're about four weeks in here. Garage is a mess. <clears throat> but yeah, they're about four, four and a half weeks. So they're pretty close. You know, maybe, and they might be closer to five weeks. Um, so about three more weeks and they will be ready to be processed. Uh, the pigs are doing good. I'll probably take you up here later this afternoon, show you guys pigs. They're all averaging about 120, 135 pounds. So we're in pretty good shape with those. Uh, fair is not till late August. So the only thing we gotta do is make the 230 pound mark, which will be way past that. So. But it is getting approaching hay season. Matter of fact, this weekend was probably going to be a good weekend to do hay. It's just it rained a lot on Friday and it kind of got the fields a little wet. Now there are some guys around us that cut that, cut their hay. Uh, but I just don't think two and a half days is long enough to dry the hay and the ground underneath of it to get uh, good dry hay. So we need the turkeys out here. And they're doing good and like i said these are for the fair they won't even be processed until september but uh at least three of these guys are going to go to the fair for the market animal class for turkey now yeah, look pretty healthy we just moved these guys out yesterday so they're all set we probably won't move the chickens we'll just leave them in there maybe uh Get that one a little bit get that area a little bit bigger for them to move around in so i think uh they'll be fine uh two race babies racehorse babies are out here still they're just kind of being babies but they're growing that one's laying down but they've been out here we just leave them outside the, the temperatures are good and pd's in the background those, these are the only three horses we have here. Um, Peanut is on a track, and Henry is at a, another farm where he is retired, and he'll be a trail horse for the rest of his life. So he's not gonna be running on the track no more, even though he's only six years old, but uh, I think he's better off where he's at now. So. We also have started to work on the deck behind the house, and that's uh, that's work in progress. Um, it's a lot of work. We got to hand dig 18 holes for the post. We're about halfway with that, so we got a we got a lot of work ahead of us. But we're trying to get get it done before Memorial Day, which is next weekend. There's our pile of lumber. And I'll show you the progress we have done on it so far. Grass. The boy's out there already ripping and roaring. He wants to get this deck around the pool so he can jump off of it into the pool. But that's the part that's going to come off the house. And we got a lot more posts to do right here. And uh, start constructing this thing. Hopefully it's big enough for us to use I'm sure it is all right guys well I'll catch up with you later we're gonna do a little bit of work on this this uh, deck here and then I'll take you up to the hog farm and let you see what the pigs look like
All right, guys, it's been at least a week or so since uh, I last picked this camper up. But uh, like I said, I wanted to bring you up here and show you pigs and what this, where they're at, how they're growing. They're going to get extremely loud here in a minute because i got to feed them. So I'll go ahead and get them fed, and then I'll get back to you guys. First one, the white one. Oh, you can't see the sun glow. This one, as soon as I dump the feed in it, he wants to dump it right on the ground. So I'm gonna put a different feeder in there. That way I can chain the bottom. Some of my people have chains on the bottom. So he can't flip it up and dump it all out because obviously he's losing some and the speed is way too damn expensive for waste, to waste it like that so i'll do that pretty quick because he just started doing that and like i said this is way too expensive to uh He's still on a portable water. I still got to get some automatic waters. Put, I probably would just get one and put like a Y. I think I got all the material to uh, extend that PEX there, but I don't know if I'm gonna leave this uh, pin up for next year or not. So I may just put a Y on the hose and just run a hose over to the other water. But I gotta get that done because he just dumps this water out and soaks his pen within two days of being clean. So he's kind of a he's a messy pig, so <laughs> fluctuation I mean we went from the 90s today it's only a high of I think it might be 70 69 70 degrees and it's supposed to go down to 40 degrees tonight so it's the end of May and they like the cool weather but they don't like the up and down temperatures like that um, their respiratory systems can't take that and they end up getting infections sometimes so we've had to treat them most of them anyhow but uh, they're all better now. This one here is waiting for me to get a bucket of water for so she can drink out of it, but I don't have time tonight. She's fine. She's got a water back here. She just likes drinking out of a bucket and dumping it. She likes doing that. That's the pigs, guys. That's an update on the pigs. Now, like I said, this, this part of the video is probably a week or so after i started filming this video so i'm gonna go ahead and end this one here i got another one i gotta start up i got a product in the mail um, it's basically a security light that i got from a company i'm gonna make a video of that um, that'll be coming up next so keep an eye out for that it's really nice uh security light it's uh comes on when it gets dark and goes off when it's daylight so makes it nice so i'll make a video of that just like i said keep a, keep a look out for that until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.